Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here, guys. It is amazing time. Today is Wednesday. It is the 17th of April. What are you doing? Listen, you're supposed to be here. And listen, guys, we're about to jump into some great um, word for, for today. I, I'm expecting your feedback. I'm expecting your comments. I'm expecting you to just join with me as we look at some of the things that are affecting us as a people affecting our church and how we can be better how we can stand for the truth and so as the good book declares the truth you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free let's go <laughs> show you something real quick because I came across this information and I found it to be really interesting because there's a lot of things that are going on right now within our society there's a lot of things that are going on within our churches and what is happening is a lot of persons are turning a blind eye you know for, for somewhat the church has slowly become entertainment and we're not about entertaining we're about reaching the souls reaching the the heart of god and we are about connecting the good book declares that we should go forth into the world preaching the gospel making disciples of all men i want to share this real quick with you i'm hoping that you can tune into what um we'll be looking at right now and i'm looking and i'm listening to hear your thoughts all right, let's check it out, guys. Let's go. But let me do this. Um, I've been up since 1 o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you, and my heart is very burdened for you. And I want to be very careful with this, and it's not what I want to say. But the Jezebel spirit has already been here. Wow. Guys, I want you to understand the boldness. I want, to, I want you to understand the seriousness of this and how important this is because for a pastor to get up on stage and declare to an audience what he believed God is saying to him, that listen, there was a Jezebel spirit that, that entered into the presence where it should have been, you know, ushering the presence of God. And I just want to address this before I even say anything further. And you could hear mixed reactions right away. You know, some persons may have been wondering, wow, did he actually say that? Or what is he saying at this moment right now? And so, guys, it is amazing to think about because at the end of the day, God needs us to be a mouthpiece so that we can effect change and we can speak the truth of God. We can be about the, the things that will propel the kingdom of God to be better and not be in a place where we are silent. All right, let's continue, guys. The Jezebel spirit opened our event. This is a rebuke and a correction of no one. This is an observation. Before the word of God was open, there was a platform. It was a high place. On it was a pole, an ashram. The same thing that's used in a strip club for women who have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole at a strip club. That man then ascended. See, our God is not arrogant. He doesn't ascend. Our God is humble. He descends. And then he swallowed a sword and Jesus cried, okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Thank you. Let me just say this. 
Continue to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys.